Pharyngeal arches are responsible for the formation of the structures derived from mesoderm of the head and neck region. Their development leads to increased separation of the space between the stomatodium, which is the primitive mouth, and the pericardium, containing developing heart. Also, they are placed lateral to the developing brain. The lateral plate mesoderm is responsible for the formation of a pharyngeal mesoderm, and this mesoderm will differentiate in the following, the cartilage and muscle. The cartilaginous elements later ossify to become bones, while the muscles are derived from inside to differentiation of arch mesoderm or mesenchyme. Other structures which are associated with the arches invade the developing mesoderm of the arches. The structures which supply the The pre-mandibular mesenchyme leads to the formation of extraocular muscles and they include the superior, medial and inferior recti to look together with the inferior oblique and the levator papyrus superioris. The maxillomandibular mesenchyme leads to the two muscles, the lateral reptus and superior oblique. The nerve to the maxillomandibular mesenchyme includes the trochlear nerve and the abducens. The mandibular arch gives rise to muscles of mastication, the temporalis, the masseter, the media and the lateral pterygoid. The mandibular cartilage forms the micus cartilage, the quadrate cartilage, the mental ossicles, anterior ligament of the malleus, and the sphenomandibular ligaments. The nerve to the mandibular arch is the mandibular nerve, which is a branch of the trigeminal nerve. The higher arch is the second arch. It gives rise to muscles of facial expression. The nerve supply to the higher arch is the facial nerve. The third arch gives rise to the stylopharyngeus. The nerve to the stylopharyngeus is the glossopharyngeal nerve. The fourth pharyngeal arch gives rise to the cricothyroid muscle. The nerve supply to the cricothyroid is the superior laryngeal branch of vagus nerve. The sixth arch gives rise to intrinsic muscles of the larynx. The sixth arch nerve is the recurrent laryngeal branch of the vagus nerve. The coral arches give rise to the muscles of the pharynx, such as the superior constrictor, inferior constrictor, and the middle constrictor. Nerve supply to the coral arches are from the cranial accessory through the vagus nerve. The development of the tongue is close to the development of the arches.